Hello. Hello. Good Hello. Evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. How was your weekend? It's relaxed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Same. Fine. Okay. So, what is today's date? What's today? Is. What's what's today's date? October October fifth. Fifth. October fifth. What's the year? Two thousand twenty. Exactly. Two thousand and twenty. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about our last class on Thursday. Do you remember the topics that we covered? Do you remember we were- Present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Uh, yes, we were talking about that last week. What else did we talk about? Remember we had a conversation about October? Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what are the most common traditional holidays or dates in El Salvador, if we talk about October? Children's Day. Children's Day? Mm -hmm. mm. How do you say Dia de la Raza in English? You say no. it Columbus Day. Columbus. Yeah, Columbus Day. Columbus Day. Yeah. El Día de Cristóbal <laughs> Colón, for example. So, Columbus Day. Okay. Is there any other um, holiday or special date in October? Some people uh, celebrate Halloween, but it's not a common tradition or a Salvadoran tradition. Right, right. Yes, it's an important date for some people, but it's not a holiday, like Irenia says. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Um, any questions or comments about uh, the topics that we covered on last Thursday? No? no. Okay, so let's start with the first activity. I will give you a, a few minutes so you guys practice um, your simple past tense, past continuous, used to and all the options that we have to talk about past events. So I want you to get in pairs and talk about the different activities you guys did on, on the weekend. So let's do this here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Talk about your weekend. Oscar. How are you today? Hello, everyone. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. It okay. was a summer day. Good, good, very good. Right now we're doing the first activity and um, you guys will be speaking about the different activities you guys did on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me send you to room four and room four. You will be working with uh, Jose. This is my family. Um, I enjoy it very much with my family too. Only okay. that is. Okay, okay, those were your activities for the last weekend. Uh, in my case, on Saturday I worked because I, I usually work from Monday to Friday, but on Saturday I'm working with my husband because he's in the thesis process, so he needs my help. So I went to work with him 
And on Sunday, we celebrated my mom's birthday here in my house. So my sister and I cooked a lasagna and also a salad. And we have a little party here in my house. It was just uh, the activity I had on the last weekend. That sounds interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then in this portion for the way, the traffic was uh, horrible. Yeah, I can imagine. I can, and, I can and imagine. Today, I, I need to travel to Santa Ana from American Park. And I, oh, you work in American Park? Yes. And I. That's, that's the reason you travel every day. Yes. And for the reason today, I wake up early. Try what time to, do you what time do you go, uh, do you wake up? Normally I I wake up at 5 a.m. but today I wake up uh, one uh, uh, one, uh, one hour after uh, before I como como se diría como que yo era la encargada de ponerlo I was in charge I was, I was in, in charge, charge. Okay. I was in charge the video and and was full. Was it was full? Oh, really? or was it fun? Fun. I see. You know, I did I did the same like you, but in, but in on Saturday. On Saturday, I the I spend the. The day resting at home, staying with the family, playing with my my two little daughters. Um, it was a good day. It was a good day. And I went out on, on Sunday. So and you you went out on on Saturday. You went to you went to look for a CD player. Did you do something else on, on Saturday? No, it just was the, I think the principal thing that I did. Okay. Then I, when I returned I was, I passed to buy some things for the, for the house, like uh, fruits, something like that, that you find in the, in the, in the way to uh, return to home. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. How, uh, how many, I mean, Children, do you have? I have two, one boy, one girl. Oh, the okay. boy is the boy is ten, and the okay. little girl is will be birthday on October the ten. It's, it's too close. And the the next Saturday. Okay. How old is she, Jose? How old is she? Almost three. Okay. She is two. Okay. Three and ten. Wow. So that's October 10th. Uh -huh. October 10th. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. My Are older you... daughter. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Oscar. My older daughter is uh, 11. And my the youngest daughter, my youngest daughter is uh, seven. Seven. Oh, okay. Uh, you only have two? Only two girls. Only two girls. So, so what's her name? Uh, Julia was lying when she said you have five children. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, she's she's a co-worker, but she uh -huh. works at, at, at Ilopango and I work at uh, Comalapa. Okay, but I remember oh, I just, you uh -huh, only have two. Just two girls. Just okay. two, no, no more. <laughs> no more. That she girls. was laughing. Uh -huh. She right. was laughing about that. <laughs> Yeah. At the beginning, it was not easy because all people are uh, uh, resting on on Saturday and Sunday, and you were and I was working, and I was um, I want to to have those days off too. But it, that since it's not possible, I you have to get used to the things that you cannot change. So it's that, very that, complicated when you have a family because your family. Had a, a off day in Saturday and, and Sunday, and you need to work. I yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. In my case, I'm not married. I, I don't have kids. I live still with my parents, 
and uh, siblings. And uh, it's normal, but um, yeah, I have a, a co-worker that they, they have that problem that maybe their wives or their husbands are off on weekends and they want to be, they need a, a, that weekend off and they can, they can get it. And so it gets complicated for, for, the, for, for them. Yeah. Mostly for the people that, uh, that for that co-workers, for those co-workers who have uh, families, uh -huh. children or, or they are married. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer to, to, to have a rest for Sunday and, and Saturday. <laughs> but for the reason, because my, my family had that, that same off days. Do you have uh, do you have children's kids one, or one one younger and my husband one what one younger one boy but he ah. is younger no ah. no baby how old is he twenty one oh no <laughs> <laughs> I was I, thinking something like a kid like you right have... me too <laughs> <laughs> no for the reason I said younger. <laughs> yeah, younger, yeah. Younger. Well, he's still young, but I, just like Julia, I, I thought you were going to say maybe 10 years old or 9 years old. Ah, okay, no. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, starting at university in, in the in yeah. years. Okay. Someone that doesn't need, need you anymore to be no. to, to, to still alive. <laughs> if he's no. hungry, he eats. Uh-huh. He, he doesn't need and, you anymore. And when, and when COVID is more complicated, because imagine that. No. All right, all right. Welcome back. Any questions or comments about the things you guys did on the weekend? No, everything is normal, nice and easy. Okay. How do so you say carriles in English? In English? Lane. Lanes. Thank you. Yes, lanes. Yes. So when lane. you're when you're driving, you have the fast lane the normal lane and the slow lane, right. Okay. Sir, right. And there's, yes? And there's a difference between the railroads. Uh, the railroad? Uh-huh, it's different to a line. Uh, well, if, if you're talking about, let's say, Los Chorros, Humalapa, whatever, you say lane, carriles. Now, oh, if you're okay. talking about a trend, you say railroad, like you said. Ah, okay, thank you. Right. Thanks. Yeah, the railroad. Okay, any other questions or comments? No? All right, so let's work a little bit with vocabulary. Let me... Okay. Um, how frequent do you use computers at work? Mm -hmm. All the time? Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Oh. Okay. And do you use uh, specific programs to work or do you just use the computer in a very general way? In my um, case, I use uh, the Microsoft Excel, Outlook, Okay, good. Someone else? It's the same. Okay, uh, it's the same. I just use uh, Zoom for my classes and the Microsoft uh, programs. Okay, good, good. All right. Um, so this activity is related with vocabulary, related with technology. Let me see. Uh, eight to nine, eight to nine, right here. Okay, or if you prefer, you can also take a screenshot from my screen and 
So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to match the internet terms on the left with the definitions on the right. On the right. Okay, so let me rearrange, recreate, create, recreate, and add a room. And we're going to put this person, room six, and we're going to put her in room six as well. Let's see. All right, so let's do this. Vocabulary. It could be good the transfer and a short of two. Uh, I said the file to your computer, I think it downloads. It thinks, yeah. And see, let us see. The number two is chat room. Let's see. Yes. Okay, I want to, um, do you have, uh, let me see the screenshot. Okay. Um, do you have it? Yeah, but I, okay, I it. found it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to share. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, let me share it. I have, I have the, a better image. Wait. Yeah, this one is blurry. It's not too clear. Yeah, I know teacher, I'm so sorry. No, I'm I don't sorry. know exactly. No, no, no. But, but the, the, I, yours is I open in the, I open in the, the platform. Okay. Yes, and I see better. But yours is better than mine. Believe me. Yeah. Let me share it. Okay. Let me share it again. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Compartir. Internet access. No, first way for me is a letter D because it said hard for software that attacks computers is is when to prevent a virus. Ah, okay. Um, letter D. Letter D. Uh -huh. Which number are you doing? In number five. Freeware. freeware. What is the answer for freeware? Freeware, I said in letter D. B as in baby? No. Or D as in Daniel? Daniel. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Irene? Uh, I, agree, I agree with you because hard for software that that computer uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. I I I was in the in the last one. Okay, because I think uh that the the answer for number for letter D it's a computer virus. It, because it attacks computers, but maybe uh you have a better answer. It, it, uh, okay. It's better for the number A, right? Yeah, I think number 10 is a better option for that one because a virus is, it's never good, you know? Yeah, it's paywall. Right. Okay. The spot is when you have a, a device when you connect internet. Mm. Or the spot. Okay, yes. it's not hot spot. What is the 
on uh, as beware. As beware as be activity. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, spyware. Every every everyone is a spider. I mean Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, let me see instant uh, messaging. messaging. Letter. Uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. Letter E. Short message that are faster than email. Uh -huh. Okay. And computers, computer virus. Um, yes, harmful. Uh, harmful. Letter uh -huh. D. The uh, hammer, harmful software that attacks computers. Yes. this uh, kind of vocabulary because I'm not uh, very good at computers. But you find the answer <laughs> the most at all. <laughs> yeah, that's vocabulary that people use every day. Mm -hmm. Download, chat room, hotspot, and all those. Yes. Okay, did you guys finish already? Yes, we did. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Letter E, maybe. And the number nine, letter E. Can you see my screen, Normita? Yes. Okay. And the last one, computer virus. Is, is the, the... La letter D. Uh-huh, letter D. Okay, and the number eight, had a pending spyware. Spyware is a virus. So what would be the best answer for spyware? Let me see. Please. It can be so, software available for free. Could be. Maybe. Because can be. Yes. In number five. Freeware. Freeware. Letter G. Software that secretly record your online activities uh, no it's, it, this one can be it's a spyware okay software that secretly records yes yeah it's a spyware right and then the another one pending we have is a uh, the letter, the letter phi not the letter phi uh -huh. but the answer maybe the the letter E. Short messages are faster than no. Short, short messages is 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 the letter the number nine. Instant messaging. Uh -huh. Right. No, the free word. The le the letter A. <laughs> no. That they are not in there in this class. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. All right. So how was your weekend, William? It was really very relaxed because I was at home all weekend. Okay, good. And you, Diana? No, the same. I was resting a lot. Good. Resting is so good. So, <laughs> so good. Yeah, I, I didn't do anything uh, special on the weekend. You know, I... I went to do a couple of errands on Saturday and I came back to the house like at 3 p.m. 
And yesterday I was in my house all day too, so resting. That's great. Yeah. That's nice. Good way for the weekend. Yeah, so now I'm ready for a new week. Yeah, that's great. That's uh, amazing. Yes, all right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. All right, all right, welcome back. Um, any questions about answers, pronunciation, or meaning of vocabulary in the section you just uh, finished? No? So uh, I'm- Could you, could you yeah. sorry. Could you extend the, the, an explanation of the definition of podcast? Okay, let me see this here. I see like a wide, uh, wide meaning. So. Okay, uh, podcast, podcast. All right, what is a podcast? Can somebody give us an explanation about podcast? Anybody? What, what is the answer for number seven in, in this particular exercise? Letter B. Letter B. Okay, radio or TV shows on your MP3 players. So a podcast is sometimes um, things, sometimes they can be educational, like let, let they're talking about satellites, animals, and particular specific topics that you have access and you can listen to it in the radio or TV show very similar to the definition that we have here. That's a podcast. It's a digital audio. Right. Uh, Dowling for in and in internet. By internet, yes. I, uh, I think uh, I was asking because um, I believe that the, this podcast has evolved and we have a M MP4. Uh, exactly. And, mp4 and all those on video and yes for me it's, it's like a broadcasting broadcasting yes. but but you have the the internet the option uh, you have the option to play it anytime you want uh -huh. exactly exactly but just like you said you know uh podcasts right now they have evolved a lot so they have innovations they have other features so but basically, it's, a, it's a, like you said, a recording that you can play as many times as you wish. Yeah, right? You. Okay. Any other questions or comments about this vocabulary? No? Okay. So let's go to um, our next activity, which is related to the passive voice. Uh, do you guys remember the passive voice? We have active voice and we have passive voice. Does anybody remember the difference between those two? I have uh, an idea, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm... Okay, tell us, Irenia. It's like when, for example, you are not doing the action, but receiving the action or something like that. Okay. All right, someone else, another opinion? Mm. Jose? It's when you emphasize in the object instead of the, the doer or the action. Okay, very good. Another opinion from someone else? Last opinion? So let me ask you, how many tenses do we have in English? How many grammatical tenses? Twelve, I think. Yes, twelve is correct. There are twelve tenses in in the, in English grammar. So those twelve tenses are considered to be active. Uh, for example, um, I'm painting. Uh, a picture of my church. I am painting a picture of my church. Which tense is that? 
Present continuous. Present continuous. And it's active because you're mentioning who's doing the action. That's, that's active. I am painting uh, a picture of my church. If I want to transfer that information to the passive, I would have to say a picture is being painted. A picture is being painted. So right there with the passive voice, what you're doing, you're giving the information, but you don't need to mention who's responsible for the action. Um, let's see, uh, when was America discovered? What year? 1492. So who discovered the American continent? Christopher Columbus. Okay, Christopher Columbus. So you say Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492. That's active. That's active. Mm -hmm. Now with the passive, you would say America was discovered in 1492 period. You're giving the information, but you don't mention who was responsible for the action. So with the active voice, you mention who's behind the action, who the doer is. With the passive voice, you share the information, but you don't mention who's responsible of the action. Any questions so far? Teacher, um, yes. what if I say America was discovered by Christopher Columbus? That is you can, uh, always. You, you, can say, you, you can say it and it's fine. Let's say you're mm -hmm. taking an exam and they are asking you for complete information. Then you would say Erenia's answer. Uh, America was discovered in 1492 by Christopher Columbus. So if they ask you, then you need to include it. If they don't ask you and it's a real conversation, normal conversation, then many times you don't need to mention who the doer is. So remember, the passive voice is usually used when you are explaining a process and you're making emphasis on the action and not on the person. For example, imagine that you, you are in instructions and induction to a new person in your company. And then you said, you need to send mails every hour. You need to send mails every hour. You're telling the person that he or she is responsible to send mails. If you want to say the same information using passive, you will say emails are sent every hour. But you don't mention who's going to be doing the action. And the message many times stays exactly the same. The only different voice, you don't mention who the person is. Let me show you a document right here. So remember, there are 12 tenses in English, 12 tenses. You can use the passive voice in 12 different forms. It doesn't matter which tense you're using the passive voice, you must, you must always include verb to be, and you must always include the past participle of the verb. That's mandatory. That's mandatory. Can you see the word document that I have open here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so according to the program, um, we're gonna use passive voice in three different tenses, present continuous, present perfect, and simple future. Now, here we have the examples with the active. So what is active? The traditional normal way to say things. To say things. She's saving money, they have remodeled the house, and I will eat this cake that is active, this is how people usually speak on an everyday conversation. If you want to transfer this active information to the passive voice, you will say, she's saving money. That will be active. If you wanna transfer that to the passive voice, you will have to say, money is being saved. Imagine uh, someone tells you, hey, let's go for pizza. 
let's order two pizzas. He says, no, we cannot. Money is being saved. The message is clear. But if you want to mention who's behind it, so money is being saved by your sister. Money is being saved by your parents. So if they ask you to include the responsible person, then you mention it. But as you can see, the example that I'm giving you now, I don't mention who's responsible for the action. Present perfect, they have remodeled the house. The house has been remodeled. Who did it? The owners, the tenant, uh, your neighbors. We don't care or we don't want to know. You're just giving the information. And with the simple future, you said, I will eat this cake. And then you want to transfer that information to the passive voice. You will have to say, the cake will be eaten. Who's going to eat it? Who knows? Maybe we don't care. We're just sending a message so the person can be careful with, with the cake. So look, we have verb to be in the past participle of the verb. Present perfect, we have been, which is verb to be in the past participle. And the verb is with the ED form. Future, you have verb to be in the past participle of the verb. Any questions or comments? Questions, questions? Is this clear? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Um, okay. I didn't know if they were <clears throat> passive and active for every all the tenses. Yes, yes. Wow. There are there are twelve tenses, and for every tense, you can transfer the information to the passive voice. And just need to remember two things that are mandatory. When you're using the passive voice, you always need to use verb to be, and the form of the verb is always past participle. Yep. Okay, any questions or comments? No? Okay, so I you have five different sentences that you need to change it to the passive voice. So this is your chance to ask questions so like maybe uh, your friend has better words or vocabulary to explain this. So let me recreate the rooms, recreate recreate and move to room six. All right, here we go. Transfer the sentences to the passive voice. Causing many inconvenience. Maybe He's causing many inconvenience. Has many, been many inconvenience are are caused. Ah, yeah, because it's present. Are, are being caused. Are being caused. Are being caused. Yes, are we, being we, caused. Many Again, please. Many inconvenience are, are being, being caused. caused. Uh -huh. Are being caused. Many inconvenience are being cost. 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 Right. Okay. So once again, Thanks. you include verb to be and the main verb is always in past participle. Okay. Thank oh, you. Perfect. Right. 
we have the ex example. Sorry, uh, we, we, we have the exercise is in active voice, and we try the passive voice. Yes, I think the third one, it could be many inconvenience, many inconvenience are being caused. Good. Are being caused, that is correct. Okay, please. We'll pay the bills, it can be uh, bills, Will be paying, paying, paid. paying? Yeah, paid. The, the bills will be paid. Will be paid. Yes. Teacher, I have a doubt with the first one. Okay. Because because in the first one is a present, a simple present. Present he continuous. Causing, no, he is causing many inconvenience. It's That's present, present continuous. continuous. Yes. Okay. I I um. Uh, 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 um, because you have the, the, the form of the verb is with the ing, so that indicates that is the continuous form. Okay, and for this, I use be, being, is being. Right, so many inconvenience. Inconvenience is being. Are being caused. Are, are being caused. Yes, because inconvenience is in the plural form. Okay. Uh huh. And being caused. Many communities mm -hmm. are being caused by him. If you want to mention him, it's possible. But if you said many inconveniences are being caused, it's perfect too. Oh. Okay. So, but okay. if you want to include who's responsible, that's okay too. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you can see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now I have it. I have it inside. Ah, okay. Okay. That's great. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Um, he's causing many inconvenience. 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 Mm -hmm. So in that case, uh, there will be many inconvenience mm -hmm. are caused. Are being caused. Are, being caused. are, are being caused. By him, by, yeah. uh, by him, if, or yeah, by if, him. It, by him. If you want to mention who's responsible for the action, you can. But you can perfectly say many inconveniences are being caused. And okay. that's it. But if you're taking an exam or they're telling you to include the responsible person, then you can also do it. Okay, okay. Right. Let's stay number two, Diana. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. Which one are you doing? Uh, I don't understand you, teacher. Repeat, please. Which number are you doing right now? Uh, finish. Oh, you finished I already? Finish. Yep. Okay, good. Yes. All right, so I think let's go back. Yes, it's us. Number four, they are repairing the street again. Mm -hmm. The street, the street. Which tense is number uh, four? What's the name of the tense? It's present, present continuous. It present continues. So how do you transfer that to the uh, passive voice? Being, being. The streak are being. Uh-huh. Repaired. Um, yes, again. Good. Repaired. Yeah. The streets okay. are being repaired again. Repaired again. Yes. Now, who's repairing the streets? Mop, Sertracen, Alcaldía, the government. We don't care. We're just concerned that the streets are being repaired again. Yes. Okay. 
and we have lost the game, what would be the passive form? Is present perfect. Present perfect, very good. So how do you the transfer game. that to the passive voice? The game, uh huh. The game lost. has been lost. Yes, very good. Has the game been has been lost. Lost. Right, very good. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. I need a volunteer to do number one, please. He's causing many inconvenience. Yes. Uh, many inconvenience are being caused. Very good. Many inconvenience are being caused. Very good. Someone else, number two, I will pay the bills. The bills will be paid. The bills will be paid. Who's going to pay them? Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister? We don't care. We just want the bills to be paid. What about number three? They have stolen the bag. The bag has been stolen. Very good. The bag has been stolen. Number four, they're, pre they're repairing the street again. The street the is the being repaired again. Okay, the street is being repaired again. And the, the last one, yes? Uh, the uh, game teacher. has been lost. Okay, the game has been lost. Very good. Yes, uh, Oscar. Um, we were talking with Diana uh, about the number three. Okay. And I have a question, but the, they have stolen the bag. Yes. So you say in the past participle, the bag, how do you say it? Has, has been stolen. Has, has been, stolen. been stolen, yes. Has. Because the no, bag, uh -huh. no, uh -huh. because the bag is it, so it belongs to the third person singular. Okay. Yes. All okay, right. Okay, I get it now, I get it okay, now. Thank good. you. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions so far about the passive voice? No? Okay, so now we go to our last activity, which is related with speaking. So, let's see, we're going to be talking about something very extremely important. And that is your body. Can you see the questions? Let me take this yes. Okay, how many questions are there? Ten. Ten, Ten questions. questions. Exactly. So you will be asking and answering those questions. I'm pretty sure we will not have enough time to uh, answer all the questions, but I'm sending you the questions right now. Breakout room. Recreate, recreate, and here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, we have been in quarantine in quarantine, but so <laughs> okay. Uh, the next question, please. <laughs> okay. 
okay. And, and um, so in the past, I was making uh, exercise, uh, running, swimming, and uh, heavy weight. So um, in that case, for that, uh, for that uh, activities that I did, um, I think I don't have a bad, uh, um, bad body. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bit for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but in the, in the time is uh, passing, um, a little bit, I have a, a, a little bit uh, more or less weight. You have a few roles. So, uh -huh. Like that's, Francisco. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> and I think that we could, that the body could, could be improved in this way. But in a way it's perfect. And in another way it is not. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> I think every single part of our body has a purpose. <laughs> Except of except uh, I don't know how to say it. except for the appendix. Oh, it yeah. Doesn't have a yeah, they can remove it and you still functioning normal. <laughs> yes. All right. Um how about the next one? What part of your body would you like to change? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my, okay. my panza. I, I, I need a plastic surgery. <laughs> oh, <teacher>, sorry. <laughs> you know, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be um, sincere. When I was a child, I wanted to change my my teeth. Okay. Now that, that I am older, okay. and I'm older, I. I don't see it necess I don't see it like a necessity. Right. It's a, it's a, it's okay for me. But when I was younger, uh, a teenager, I I was really I was really worried about that. But it's not. I got a trauma with that. I have, like six years ago, and, and I use brace uh, brackets. I don't know if I say brackets or braces. Braces, braces, braces. Right. So it was it was expensive. And really painful, but um, after the treatment, I can say, okay, I made it, and uh, I'm proud of it. Of, of it. So, how, how much time did you have a uh, uh, braces, Julia? Seventeen months. Seventeen and was, months. Yeah, was a completely nightmare. The all the the there was a a, a good thing that <laughs> I ate less <laughs> because. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, because no. of the pain. Yeah, I ate do you it. Know, do you know, she has the perfect bite now. Okay. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> the perfect bite. Oh, come on. I mean, okay. the, the, uh, some people say the, the, uh, the bridge or something like that. Yes. There's some, some singers, uh, I mean, do you know that some singers or opera singers or, or pop singers, uh -huh. they don't... They don't. They don't go on 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 dental surgeries because the the voice is going to change. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's important to have the 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 original the bridge, ones. The bridge. The bridge. I don't have the the whole pieces of my teeth. Uh huh. So I I don't even can uh, a whistle. I can whistle. I cannot whistle, and I cannot sing well. Because okay. Of that, but it's important to have the 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 bridge. The original teeth. Uh huh. Okay. The bridge, at, at least. Uh huh. All right. No, oh, you can have a bridge of the prosthesis, and uh -huh. you can sing well because it's, I I don't know why. I don't okay. Know why. Yeah, this is the first time that I hear that you know singers, they, you know, if they do something to their teeth, that uh -huh. will change their voice. That will change their voice. Uh huh. Ah, that's new Julie. for me. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go on the other. But I'm not sure if we are going to have a big uh, change in a million years of evolution. Yes.
All right, welcome back. I'm sorry to interrupt you. And I told you that we wouldn't have enough time for this conversation. Uh, any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No. That was a really interesting topic. Yes. Okay, yeah. you know, everybody has, a, everyone has a body and it's the only one we have. So we're supposed to be taking good care of it. Yes. Okay. So if you don't have any questions, um, thank you very much for making the space. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same play, same time. You guys have a good night. Same to you, teacher. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Bye.